Hey Lovers for Life, it's time for our Spotlight segment. As the Coulters interview special guests from all over, whose testimony and wisdom will absolutely bless you. So, here's who is in our spotlight right now. Welcome to Love and Happiness. I'm Vandy. And I'm Barbara. We are excited because today we are in Tampa, Florida, at an amazing church with an amazing couple, the Burks. Pastor Aaron and Katie Burks, they have an amazing ministry, an amazing heart, and we're absolutely clear that today's theme, which is how to make it last forever, is absolutely going to bless you because they have some great wisdom to share. So we want to welcome you, Aaron, to Katie, here. to our show. Absolutely. Thank you for taking the time out in your beautiful sanctuary. It's just amazing what God has done for you all. And I had a chance to get a little bit of your story, which inspired me to say, I've got to be connected with you all. We've got to have you on the show. So why don't you first tell our viewers a little bit about the Burks? All right. Well, I think to tell our story, Katie does it best. She kind of gives you the back side. I always give all the highlights. She gives kind of the real story. So, yeah. So. Um, so Aaron and I met in college. We went to a Christian college and I think not for everybody, but a lot of women go for that MRS degree and that's definitely why I went. So I went to go find myself a husband. Amen. And, uh, um, it didn't really work. I did get to meet him. We became friends in college. We were just kind of naturally drawn to each other. We had similar convictions. Uh, we both loved the idea of of overseas missions and we're in a lot of the same classes. We were in the same group of friends. We were both really weird, had the same sense of humor <laughs> and um, we're friends for a while. We ended up finally dating a few years later. Aaron left and became an overseas missionary at that time. And we were, did long distance for six months. Mm -hmm. Then I, he comes back, I think, okay, we're gonna get married. And he says, I think we should break up. And so <laughs> totally threw me for a loop. Yeah. So wait, you said that you think you should get married and he decided to break up? I thought it in my head. Oh, <laughs> okay. So you were preparing okay. for like, I was preparing for okay. okay. next step. And, okay. <gasps> yes, okay. yes. And I wasn't and feeling it. He, I was all into myself and, he, and mission he travel and missions. And, and, yeah. and I thought, you know what? I need to be single. So <laughs> broke up and that was a bad yeah, season. Wow. So you, you actually broke up with her. Yeah. I did. So we were six months. We were long distance and didn't really see each other while I was overseas yeah. doing missions work. And then came back and she was expecting, all right, well, let's get our next step. And yeah. I ended the relationship. So it wasn't a good season. So, so before you go forward, because yeah. there's a, a lot of folk watching mm -hmm. who are dealing with heartbreak. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about that for a second what mm -hmm. was that like for you because you was expecting like you said hey this is going somewhere right. and Absolutely. suddenly the rug is pulled out so what was that yeah so that was definitely a grieving period mm -hmm. um, I remember that was the first time I had grieved you know because mm -hmm. it was not only am I losing this person but you know the first person I had loved in that way right um, it was losing the expectations it was dealing with the rejection that right. came with that which mm -hmm. was an added thing and it was it was a very long season of pain of like questioning you know right. god why i i was faithful to you mm -hmm. you know and asking all these questions mm -hmm. and everything now looking back i see the timing of it and um, mm -hmm. i'm so grateful for the lord because i realized mm -hmm. if he had answered all those prayers you yeah. know to to restore that relationship at that time mm -hmm. or whatever um then I wouldn't have been ready, you know. Okay. He had things for me to do while I was single at that okay. time. Okay. Nice. Definite things. I ended up um, going to Africa, which wow. I, would have I ended up Wonderful. going to nursing school. I don't think I ever would have done that, mm. you know. And so, um, you know, I always tell single girls now or people going through that that the right person at the wrong time is the wrong person. Wow. So well said. Thank you. Definitely. Well said. So then, all right. So now let's pick it back yeah. up to when it works. So, so yeah. So now so we went he, a he's broken your heart yeah. before you before you get back to but it. Then she yeah. found he's totally purpose. shattered your heart. But she found purpose then you in that. restored yourself yes. and, and, and regained not just <laughs> yeah, your right. your center, but then purpose. Mm -hmm. Then how do you all get back together? How'd that happen? Years later, it years was later. Years, about four years later. Yeah, it was okay. four years later. I was a um, full-time pastor doing missions work at the same time. Okay. And so I drive up down one weekend. We were still kind of part of the same group of friends. And I drove down and I told her, I said, hey, I've just been praying about um, marriage. 
and I think uh, God wants Sound us to get blue. married. We have not co- talked about anything. We had bar- been barely friends. Uh, Wait, in four, four years, years, barely communicating? Barely yeah, com- we a had little the bit. same group of friends, so we would ah. see each other. We'd see each other maybe once a year, okay. once every few months. And we always months. just really liked each other. We loved right. being around each other. So we had a hard time. Right. So and you, I, you were able to receive his friendship, not no, looking at him I mean, like a cad. I can't I, believe yes. you broke my heart. Yes, there, uh, was there was a that. lot of that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. We, of we just didn't talk about it much. And so <laughs> we had a look good time. But I would come down and I said, listen, I think we're, we're supposed to get married. And this was out of the blue. Yeah. I mean, and she basically said, uh, no, I like not, that. there's no way. I don't feel like that at all. Uh, so I said, well, I want you to take a month and pray. Okay. Because I feel like this is what God has for us. And when I see our future, I see it together. Nice. And, um, and we're both doing amazing things. She was, she was graduating nursing school. She had just come back from going overseas to Africa. She did all this great stuff with her wife. I was a missionary and a youth pastor. Nice. I had a business on the side. So was, we were both doing well single. And I think mm-hmm. there's something huge about being successfully single. Mm-hmm. You know, I agree. Absolutely. There's, well the, the Bible says it's not good for a person to be alone, mm-hmm. but there's a difference between being alone and being single. Mm-hmm. We're never called to be alone. Yes. We always yes. need community. We always yes. need friendships. Mm-hmm. But there's something significant about finding yourself and being single, yeah. who Agreed. you are in Christ, okay. what's your purpose. And yes. Yes. two people that are successfully single come together and make a great successful relationship. Mm-hmm. So we were both individually our own person. Yeah. And I felt like I finally reached a place of maturity where I could go, okay, I can love someone more than myself. I think that's a big deal. Like, <laughs> that yeah. is a real deal. Yeah. 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 So I told her to pray and she said no. But, I mean, she said, I think about it, I pray. <laughs> yeah, I started praying. And then we went through a month of her praying. And mm-hmm. I mean, she had to seek God and, and had a lot of questions. Yeah. So. I did. I had a lot of questions. I had to overcome a lot of um, doubt in him, thinking this yeah. guy always changes his mind. You know, uh-huh. can I trust him? Mm-hmm. So how did you resolve that? Because there's a lot of people watching who have been dropped. Mm-hmm. And, and when I've counseled for a lot of times, that's the big hindrance for them to be able to move on. It's right. getting, mm-hmm. getting a place that you can get your footing again to trust somebody not to drop you again, mm-hmm. let alone the same person who dropped Absolutely. you. So how'd you kind of resolve that? What, what did it take? For me, it was the Lord. It was, I, my trust became it, my trust in God, not my trust in Aaron. I knew, mm-hmm. Lord, what do you want me to do? Um, I ended up getting confirmation after confirmation mm. from him as I was praying. Things that could only come from God, that this is the direction yeah. he had me to walk in. Yeah. And so in the end, I had to say, okay, I'm going to quit questioning Aaron. I'm going to qu- quit um, counting, keeping that record of wrongs that he had done. Mm. You know, I was going to put that away and be like, okay, this is what God wants. So before my emotions get involved, before mm-hmm. I'm going to let my feelings get there, I'm just going to... Um, say yes to God first. Say yes to God before I say yes to him. I love it. I I want to unpack that because in that transition of regaining trust, the natural human dynamic in relationships is there's going to be some disagreements. Mm -hmm. In those pockets of disagreements where there are moments where you were beginning to say, is he going to drop again? Is he going to, you know, suddenly Mm -hmm. shift again? Did you have those moments? There was, yeah, there was a couple times when I, I saw that same nature coming out that, um, that had worried me before, like, I'm going to put my ministry over our relationship. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's what we had seen. But in the same way, at the same time, I also saw um, how God had refined him during that time apart. That's good. So it helped me a lot because... Um, I think, and it was that immaturity, if I can be real, like mm-hmm. I would try to test him in some ways. Oh, that's be, real. That's right. Yes, that's right. I would, I, yes. I would, I would let my worst self come out uh-huh. to see, to see if he's know, going to give up. Yes. Yeah. Because before it, I felt like I was giving my best self and mm-hmm. he gave up on it. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I'm going to let my worst self come out and see. Yeah, yeah. And instead I started seeing him, um, be the bigger man in those situations oh, and be nice. selfless. And, nice. um, and that was so reassuring to me. I didn't only see the maturity in him. I was like, God, you are good. I can see how you change us and how um, how you are doing this for me. This is a gift to me right now. So. You know, one funny story, because uh-huh. talking about the maturity, the growth uh-huh. season, uh, she had graduated from nursing school, and in nursing school they have a thing called a pinning ceremony. I didn't know what this was. So <laughs> okay. She calls me and said, hey, I, I, my pinning ceremony is next week. I'd love for you to come. Uh-huh. And I said, well, that's the same night as my youth service. I'm a youth pastor, so I was like, uh, I need to be at the youth service. Uh-huh. And she's like, well, this is kind of a big deal. I'd like for you to be there. And I said, well, I had that service at night. Is it okay if I don't come? And she said, well, that's fine. <laughs> well, I thought that was that's not. fine. <laughs> that meant that's, that's fine. fine. <laughs> yeah. that fine. That's fine means 
that's the worst decision you're ever right. going to make because in your Because now, again, you're putting something else before, before her. Before her. And yeah. she should be number one. Oh, absolutely. Not well, I didn't know this. Okay. So um, I didn't learn all this. That's why I wish I would have watched your show before this. You know, that's why this is a good thing. But I basically... Uh, I didn't go, and so, and then it was one. That was one of those moments where yeah. she really had to go before the Lord yes. and go, okay, is this the same guy that was, mm -hmm. you know, up and down? Back? Is, is the rest of our mm -hmm. life? Is she going to put this? Is he going to put stuff before our kids yeah. and our anniversary? Right. And is he going to be traveling? Yeah. Yes. So, and I realize the error in my ways, but I think it's one of those things that it tests our relationship. Yeah. Good Life TV is proud to partner with Love and Happiness for an amazing couples retreat. The theme, Love Makes Everything Better. Because when your relationship is right, everything is right. Hosted by Drs. Vandy and Barbara Coulter, October 11th through 12th. Friday night starts with a sweetheart's plate at dinner, games, prizes, and the evening caps off with a sweetheart's couples dance. Powerful relationship sessions include Love and Money, a men's only session, Love Should Have Brought You Home Last Night, How to Insulate Your Relationship Against Infidelity, Professional Pursuits, or Just Being Too Busy for Your Love. A woman's only session titled, Do You Want to Be Right or Receive? A group panel with relationship experts discussing, All I Need is R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Here's what past guests have said about our love and happiness events. Our assessment on the love and happiness event was actually wonderful. Um, the, the thing about it was showing you how to communicate in more than one way. It was more so for me adding tools to the toolkit. If someone's thinking about coming to this event and they haven't quite made up their minds, I would say it's really a no-brainer. The cost is is uh, so affordable that it's almost free, and the information that you will get, you could have spent hundreds of dollars in counseling sessions. Um, it's just a fabulous opportunity to get to get some information while you're sitting along with other couples who have the same desire, who want the same information. If somebody was wanting to come, I would tell them you would get a lot out of this. I would use my own testimony on what I got out of it and how it's affected my marriage in such a positive light. If someone was thinking about coming, I would tell them to come. If someone was thinking of coming to the Love and Happiness event and you're on the fence, listen, you need to be here. For simple fact of just bettering your marriage, to being a better husband, being a better wife, um, just being an overall better spouse, you will be blessed tremendously by this event. It's an eye opener. You, you don't want to miss it. Act now and save big on our super early bird registration. Just go to our website, loveandhappiness.tv or eventbrite.com. Whether you're married, planning to be married, or in a relationship, this will bless you to keep your relationship strong and on top. Hey, want to attend for free as our special guest? Then take our two-on-five challenge on loveandhappiness.tv. Succeed and you'll be our VIP guest for free. It's easier than you think. Remember, no one gets their happily ever after. They create their happily ever after. Create yours today. Want your relationship to go from bad to good? Good to great or great to greater? Get our Finding Each Other's Frequency Relationship Masterclass. Our online course covers secrets to creating your happily ever after with proven tools, tactics, techniques that'll make your relationship better within 30 days. After over 20 years of counsel and relationship coaching, Drs. Vandy and Barbara Coulter have put together the keys to improve communication, intimacy, alleviate resentment, anger, and most importantly, win. You can do our online three-step course in the privacy of your own home or on your smart device with that special someone and become an unofficial relationship expert. You deserve to be happy, so you owe it to yourself, your mate, your children, and your relationship. Log on to loveandhappiness.tv today for more information. Remember, no one gets their happily ever after. They create their happily ever after. Create yours today. So ultimately, yep. that's fine, meant I'm just not going. Because yeah. he and, and then later, you, in hindsight, realized I should have went. Well, yeah, yeah. from a, a phone call of her crying, going, <laughs> you were the, the only person that I needed to be there wasn't there during the moment. <laughs> right. What a disappointment. I, oh, yeah, I realized I messed up big time. Yes. And so wow. yes. um, we learned a lot of lessons learned, for there. We learned yeah. how to communicate, got to uh -huh. say how you're feeling. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In my it, mind, I was like, oh, he's going to surprise me. Yeah. You know? oh, yeah. Oh, so the disappointment now I was really yeah, great. It was because you were up here with expectation. Yeah. Maybe he'll I even was. show yeah. you had hope. I had high hope. And he just 
<laughs> didn't. You said that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you heard. No. Yeah. So. You know, I, I, it's funny when my wife and I were dating, uh, it was a blind date because as I, I was telling you all off camera yeah. how a little how we met. Uh -huh. And it was funny because when I called her, you know, I had already swore off blind dates because I had a nurse who was a stalker. <laughs> and it became really crazy. And I was like, I'm done with blind dates. I swore right. them off for about a year and a half. And her, her friend who bought the ticket to the event said, no, someone wants to meet you. And I said, no, I'm OK. Mm -hmm. And he, he said, no, I think you should meet her. And I said, no, I'm OK. And when he said it the third time, because God often deals with mm. me in, in threes. Yeah. So then I was like, OK, I'll meet her. So I called, we had a nice pleasant conversation that was so powerful, it made me literally remove everybody else who was hanging around in my life. Oh. And all we did was really just chat. It wasn't, you know, mm -hmm. what's, what's your measurements? It right. wasn't anything right. fleshly. <laughs> I didn't know what she looked like, but her virtue came through the phone right. in a way that oh, made me just say like, why am I allowing these other mm -hmm. people to hang around? So I went back then, it was a Rolodex, and I go yeah. through my Rolodex, and I'm like, I'm not gonna be your man. You should stop <laughs> making pies for me on Sundays. And I just, when I went to call her the dater, she said, um, I said, what time do you want me to come? She said, ah, you can get here when you want. <laughs> but then we landed on a general sense of like time. two o'clock or something. Right. <laughs> and so I showed up at four because I'm like, you said <laughs> whatever time you want. At seven or six or something. That was a lie yeah, like in case she was a stalker. Right. I just right. said, in and out. I said, yeah, I said I've got some responsibilities right, 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 at the right, church. Right, I can't yeah. stay long. Right. But yeah, and she was in bondage about the fact that you she said, whenever you get there, and I took her at her work. I did not mean that. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted so, you to be excited about meeting me. Of course. And yeah. you make it a priority. But you, you downplayed it. You were like, oh, whenever you get here. Uh -huh. And so it's to the same point as, yes. as men, we take you at your word. Yeah, we do. If you yeah. say that's okay, <laughs> yeah, we hear that's okay. I know. You know, we ultimately <laughs> learn how to read through the, yeah. the lines. Yeah. The lines. In between the lines. Yes. Yes. We yeah. have to learn to be clear. Exactly. Right. So, so tell us about this great church that you yeah. have pastor Tell so us we got it. married uh you know had our first child mm -hmm. everything's starting to get normal yeah. you know we're living the american dream bought our first house yeah. had a little demonic dog you know, <laughs> the, whole uh, the whole dream yeah. and then god starts speaking to us about okay it's time to get out of okay. the nest and it yeah. seems like every time you get comfortable god kind of pushes you out right, right. Mm -hmm. so it starts speaking to us about church planning and yeah. Aaron was a youth pastor, and so we were, at first we were thinking, okay, maybe it's time to just senior pastor, let's look at some churches, maybe interview there, mm -hmm. and we just kept hearing all this stuff about church planning. Every book we read, every conference we went to, somebody would say something about church planning, and so we just started reading about it and saw that there was a huge need for new churches in, in America today, and um, so we were like, okay, Lord, if this is what you have for us, then we'll, we're going to be obedient. We felt led to Tampa. I don't know why I think it was just the Lord because mm -hmm. that's both of us just felt just led to it. We didn't have any connections really here. Mm -hmm. And um, Aaron came down one weekend, talked to every pastor he could. He said, this is what we feel like God's calling us to. Is there a need? They said, yes. In this one area right here, they're like, it's going to be completely difficult. Mm -hmm. Good luck with it. And we were like, well, you know, we're just supposed to go where we're called, mm -hmm. whether or not it means being successful in the eyes of the world. That's what we do. And so we did. We packed up. We rented out our house, packed up our baby and our dog, and wow. came and we downsized did. a little apartment here. And mm -hmm. well, actually, we lived with my father and mother-in-law about an hour away. I skipped that part. Yep, that was, <laughs> that was the worst season of our it life. Was not. It, it was not. It was a very difficult it was, season. Yes, really. It was, was very hard. It was. And I think that was, you know, when you see these ideas of people that follow God and mm -hmm. do something great for God, you always think, well, if they're going to follow God, it must be easy. Oh, they, they had got it so easy. Look at them on stage, and they don't right. realize that yeah. the journey. there's those dark seasons. Yeah, I mean, is. we you go from having, you know, I had a side business, a full-time job, and she had a full-time job, to Then we had zero income. Mm -hmm. You know, we're living with our father and mother-in-law an hour away. I'm driving to Tampa every day trying to meet people. We have no church. We have no, you know, we have no way of doing this. We're, yeah. we're praying. And, mm -hmm. and so it was a really tough season. No mm -hmm. income, no people, only a vision from God. It was a really hard time in our marriage, too, because yeah. a lot of the times you take out that aggression, those frustrations with each other. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. mm -hmm. I remember one time we were fighting about just stupid stuff, and finally, I mean, we're, we're yelling back and forth and just fighting dirty. It was just yeah. wrong. And, right, right. and then after a while, we just sat there, and we finally looked at each other like, do you think there's this, this is bigger than that issue? Yeah. Maybe there's actually a, an enemy of our souls that yeah. wants mm -hmm. to rip our marriage apart, mm -hmm. yeah. knowing that if he destroys the marriage, he destroys the ministry. Right. So yeah. we finally had to come to grips with that. And mm -hmm. 
um, and realize, recognize the enemy mm. yeah. is yeah. trying to destroy us. So, because he. He knew that all this was going to happen. We didn't right, know. Right, right, we right, didn't right, know we'd right, be one right. church with mm -hmm. you know yeah. thousands of people, and in mm -hmm. five years we've saw sixty two hundred decisions for Christ, and yeah. we're about to launch our fourth location, and we get a one point two million dollars to missions. We never Wonderful. saw that. Yeah. God, God saw that, and the yeah. enemy knew the potential. Yeah. That's right. So yeah. that's why he was trying to rip us apart. But yeah. Uh, so we moved in the city and then started on September the fifteenth. Yep. Wonderful. Yep. Three days after my birthday. That's it. Three days after twelve. Yeah, very yeah. good. There you go. Yep. Now, now you said something that's powerful. In we we give we gave you all a copy of our book, Love yes. and Happiness: yeah. mm -hmm. The Secrets to Creating Winning Relationships. Yeah. The first chapter, I think, is called "Don't Die in the Dark," yes. mm. and it specifically is is addressing something you touched on that when things are difficult and you're mm -hmm. in those dark times, mm -hmm. what were some of the things that you all discovered you needed to do while you're frustrated in the downsize mm -hmm. under her parents' roof, mm -hmm. frustrated trying to figure it all out, but at the same time trying to keep the light of your love together? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What were some of the things you all decided to consciously do to say this is why we're not going to die in the dark? One big thing is we had to learn how to really communicate about it. I think both of us were going through our own different struggles internally, mm -hmm. and they were building up in our minds so much, and the other ones couldn't read that, you know? Yes, so yes. I know with Aaron, I've always, you know, we had, had such a background together. I knew him very well, and during the season was the first time I saw him reacting in different ways. Mm -hmm. I saw his stress level go up in a way I had never seen it, so he started reacting okay. out of that differently, and I didn't know how to, how to, um, how to be married to that because it was so different than, mm -hmm. than what we'd had before. Good Life TV is proud to partner with Love and Happiness for an amazing couples retreat. The theme, love makes everything better because when your relationship is right, everything is right. Hosted by Drs. Vandy and Barbara Coulter, October 11th through 12th. Friday night starts with a sweetheart's plated dinner, games, prizes, and even caps off with a sweetheart's couples dance. Powerful relationship sessions include love and money, a men's only session, love should have brought you home last night, how to insulate your relationship against infidelity, professional pursuits, or just being too busy for your love. A woman's only session titled, Do You Want to Be Right or Receive? A group panel with relationship experts discussing, All I Need is R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Here's what past guests have said about our love and happiness events. Our assessment on the love and happiness event was actually wonderful. Um, the, the thing about it was showing you how to communicate in more than one way. It was more so for me adding tools to the toolkit. If someone's thinking about coming to this event and they haven't quite made up their minds, I would say it's really a no-brainer. The cost is is uh, so affordable that it's almost free, and the information that you will get, you could have spent hundreds of dollars in counseling sessions. Um, it's just a fabulous opportunity to get to get some information while you're sitting along with other couples who have the same desire, who want the same information. If somebody was wanting to come, I would tell them you would get a lot out of this. I would use my own testimony on what I got out of it and how it's affected my marriage in such a positive light. If someone was thinking about coming, I would tell them to come. If someone was thinking of coming to the Love and Happiness event and you're on the fence, listen, you need to be here. For simple fact of just bettering your marriage, to being a better husband, being a better wife, um, just being an overall better spouse, you will be blessed tremendously by this event. It's an eye opener. You, you don't want to miss it. Act now and say big on our super early bird registration. Just go to our website, loveandhappiness.tv or eventbrite.com. Whether you're married, planning to be married, or in a relationship, this will bless you to keep your relationship strong and on top. Hey, want to attend for free as our special guest? Then take our two-on-five challenge on loveandhappiness.tv. Succeed and you'll be our VIP guest for free. It's easier than you think. Remember, no one gets their happily ever after. They create their happily ever after. Create yours today. Want your relationship to go from bad to good? Good to great or great to greater? Get our Finding Each Other's Frequency Relationship Masterclass. Our online course covers secrets to creating your happily ever after with proven tools, tactics, techniques that'll make your relationship better within 30 days. After over 20 years of counsel and relationship coaching, Drs. Vandy and Barbara Coulter have put together the keys to improve communication, intimacy, alleviate resentment, anger, and most importantly, 
win. You can do our online three-step course in the privacy of your own home or on your smart device with that special someone and become an unofficial relationship expert. You deserve to be happy. So you owe it to yourself, your mate, your children, and your relationship. Log on to loveandhappiness.tv today for more information. Remember, no one gets their happily ever after. They create their happily ever after. Create yours today. If you have any questions about your relationship, and sometimes you do, but you don't know who to ask, you don't know who to turn to, just email us any questions you may have about relationships. Do you have an interesting relationship story or testimony and would like to be a guest on our show? Whether you're single, in a relationship, or married, we'd love to hear what you've learned or overcome. With technology, we can interview you from anywhere in the world, and your story can inspire and bless millions. Just go to our website, loveandhappiness.tv, and right on our home screen, you'll see, want to be a guest on our TV show? Just click, and all the directions are there. We can't wait to hear from you. If you're not happy in your current relationship state, stop listening to people who are not getting it right and go to people that have a successful relationship. If they have webinars and they're willing to share their wisdom and their secrets and their keys, like, why would you not do that? 